Welcome to Wildlife Wednesday. I am filming this episode on Groundhog's Day. So early this morning, Punxsutawney Phil, a famous groundhog in Pennsylvania, emerged from his burrow and saw his shadow, which legend tells us that means six more weeks of winter. But what exactly is a groundhog? Is this a groundhog? Is this a groundhog? Is this a groundhog? While we often confuse many different large rodents with groundhogs, we actually don't have any in Montana, but we do have some of their very close relatives. If we look at a very basic taxonomy or classification of groundhogs, we can see that they're in the order Rodentia, so they're rodents. They're in the family Scuridae, which we also call the squirrel family. And then they're in a genus called Marmota. So a groundhog is technically a marmot. And while we don't have groundhogs in Montana, we do have two native marmot species, the yellow-bellied marmot and the hoary marmot. Let's learn a little bit more about these two native marmot species. Hoary marmots are found in the far northwestern United States and into Canada, Alaska, and the Yukon in high elevation habitats. You have probably seen them feeding on flowers and vegetation if you've been hiking in Glacier National Park. You can identify them by their white tipped guard hairs, which give them a grizzled appearance, or by their distinct vocalizations. Because this species lives at such high elevations, they are very hard for our biologists to study. They have to haul heavy traps and equipment way up into the mountains. It's a lot of work, but this looks like a pretty nice office. Yellow-bellied marmots are found throughout many of the western states and are the species you're most likely to see unless you're a die-hard backcountry hiker. They can be identified by their yellowish brown fur and you guessed it, their yellow belly. Both yellow-bellied and hoary marmots are true hibernators. And in fact, they spend most of their lives hibernating in their burrows. They often don't emerge from this hibernation until about May. So while they're very closely related to groundhogs like Punxsutawney Phil, we could not rely on them to wake up in February and tell us how much winter is left. So thank you for coming to another Wildlife Wednesday and we'll see you next week.